everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and today I'm going to show you a simple way to strum Bang a Gong by T-Rex. This is just a three chord tune with a simple strumming pattern the entire way through so it shouldn't be too bad. If along the way you find any extra help, I have a bunch of resources. There's my free ebook which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. There's my complete beginner's course which elaborates on that and takes you through the entire process, learning songs along the way, building up the chords that you can play, your chord switching, and your rhythm from the ground up. I also have a chord chart for this available on my Patreon if you need help following along once you've learned the mechanics and how to play the tune. Um, and with all that said, let's just jump right in and learn the chord shapes. First we have an E chord. And then we're going to be switching to A. And there's a couple different ways you can go about that. The most normal way to do it would be to take these two fingers, put them right here on the second and third strings, and then finish up with your first finger right there for your A chord. But in the intro, you may have noticed me playing A like this, and that's a really quick switch. I, I recommend learning both ways eventually. For the time being, stick with one. You know, but as you get better and better, it's good to have all those options because there's always uses for them, right? You know, and for that one, I just take these two fingers, move them over, then I add my pinky. And that's another way you can do it. And for the most part, we're switching just between E and A, but later on, we go from G, A, E. So we have a G chord. And we switch into A. So I recommend working on that switch as well, you know, and there's no fingers that stay still or anything like that. We just have to go in the same order every time. So we have our G chord. I like placing these two fingers first and then that one. And it's all about consistency. You know, if you just do it the same way over and over again, you'll build up that muscle memory and you'll be able to make that switch nice and smooth. And that's it for this song, you know, really simple, just three chords. So. Before we go any further, let's strum through the entire verse and chorus, downstrokes only, just so we can get the chords in the right order, counting along and all that stuff. We're gonna start out on an E chord. One, two, three, four. time just like that. G, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A couple more measures. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, next we're going to take a look at the strumming pattern, which goes like this. Do it a little bit slower. Three and four and two and three and four and. To learn it, we'll divide it in half. The first half is super simple, just a downstroke on beat one and a downstroke on beat two. So we can just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The second half has a miss on beat four. So we're going down, up, miss, up. And to practice that, first, let's mute the strings with our hand just by covering them lightly. We're gonna go one, two, down, up, miss, up. One, two, down, up, miss, up. One, two, down, up, miss, up. And once you're comfortable with that, 
we can try it a little bit quicker. And instead of saying miss out loud, we can just kind of say it in our head. We can just go one, two, one, two, so in my head, I'm still saying down, up, miss, up. And eventually you get the feel of that, and then you can just kind of, you know, feel the, the actual rhythm of it, right? But those are the steps that you have to go in to be able to get to that point. So we have our two halves. Now we're going to put them together. We're just going to, you can just take a look at the strokes, see how it all lines up. We're going to go nice and slow on muted strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, down. Miss up one, two, down up, miss up one, two, down up, miss up. So get comfortable with that. Try it on each chord shape. And once you can do it kind of subconsciously at a nice slow tempo, you'll be ready to start speeding it up a little bit. And eventually we want it to be something like around that tempo would be good. So that's the strumming pattern. We have the chord shapes. Let's put that together now, nice and slow. You can always, if you don't know what's going on, you can always just watch me do this and then try it with me afterwards. One, two, three, and four, and. And with a simple song like this, it's a really good idea once you've figured it out and once you can play through it comfortably to add some of those extra musical things. Like in this case, dynamics, you know, whether you're playing loud or soft, you know, that really helps this tune come alive. You know, there's a difference between going like this and something like this. So the first time I played it, my volume was kind of like that the whole time, you know, just steady. Whereas the second time there were little like dips and certain ones that I brought out a little bit more. And that's something that you can practice simply by taking a look at our strumming pattern and we can just make certain strokes softer on purpose and certain ones come out a little bit more. In this case, I would make the downstroke on beat one a little bit softer. And I would make the first upstroke on the and of three a little bit louder. Just making those two changes. Do it one at a time. First, just practice soft beat one. You know, and then practice bringing out that upstroke. And just those two little changes help out a lot in the verse of this tune, you know? And then for the chorus, that's when you can just strum all out with a, a bit of a louder volume to make the chorus stand out, you know? So we're taking advantage of dynamics there. And um, if you wanna get better at that sort of stuff, I have a course, Strumming Made Simple, that's all about going from beginner to advanced with strumming. You know, learning to play and sing at the same time, learning to extract a strumming pattern from a song, even if it doesn't have guitar in it, just by like feeling the beat, you know? It helps you build up into all that stuff from a really, really basic, easy starting point. And um, aside from that, 
when it comes to this tune, the only other thing is the form. You know, we play the verse, then we play the chorus, and then there are a few twists and turns. So let's just go through that. I just have the chord chart for my Patreon here. So the song starts off with the intro, which is just the E chord. Then we go verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then verse, and on this third chorus, we stop it two measures early. So we cut off a couple of measures of E at the end of it. And then we do the intro again, which is just an E chord. Then we do verse, chorus, and on the chorus, we just keep repeating the first four measures of it. And then we have an intro, and we have a chorus where we keep repeating the first four measures of it five times. And then the outro, which is just the intro. So I'm gonna write that all down here so that you can just jot down these notes. And I want you to listen to the song and keep that in mind, you know, and, and be like, oh yeah, they are stopping two bars early there. You know, that wasn't exactly like the chorus that we were practicing, they stopped at two measures early, or they repeated those four measures, right? So writing that stuff down and listening to the song as you're mindful of it is a good way to learn how to play through the entire song. That's really important, you know, knowing when that stuff's happening. But ultimately, if you're just gonna go play this thing around a campfire, you can just go repeat the verse and chorus over and over again, it's no huge deal. I just wanna let you know what you need to do in order to play along with the original recording, which is a great way to practice those dynamics, practice all that other stuff. Um, other than that, there's not much to it with this tune, so um, have a fun time practicing. Don't forget about my free ebook, my um, complete beginner's course, Strumming Made Simple, and the chord chart on the Patreon. And uh, I'll see you soon.